In fact, he took it to ground, I guess. That's what the umpire's reading of it was. Hold on! McGinnity, the free to Marston. Margin still six, only one goal in this last quarter. Play on! Who oh, kicked oh, Marston? Great mark for Rutner, just slipped in front of Prittis as you saw. And once again, the singles do look as if they're trying to slow it down. One on one here for McKernan. McKernan just poked it to his own advantage. And in the end, he just had to let the ball be dislodged to Smith. That'll help. Gets them about 30 metres closer. Waters, not that time. Out the back, Brown. Mitch Brown comes again. It's a little off the side. It's a lot in the air. Hard to mark that. Crouch, Sloan to the advantage of Smith. They reset again. This time, Jenkins with Waters in front to deal with. Right there. Oh, he's gone under him. He's given away the free. Well, it's brilliant play by Jenkins. Just a man at the front spot of himself. He just worked his bullet his way forward and then right put his head over the ball and drew a free kick. And it's a pretty sharp shot. You wouldn't be surprised if he lobbed this one. Well, Brody Smith's a long kick who's right alongside him. He didn't look confident in his kicking ability, Matty Wright, to get the distance, but... He's got to go back and just go through his routine. This is a huge kick for the Adelaide Footy Club. And that Nui on the goal line. Jacobs needs to take him out of the play. It's massive. It's difficult. It's not impossible. It's a behind. 8-15 to 8-8. Yeah, an important point, though, isn't it? Seven points now, but still heaps of time left on this game. So 8-15 to 8-8, Jarrett. In the margin, seven points. Brother, it's hard to find a winner here. Schofield to halfback. Mananui's lurking somewhere in the general direction. But Jacobs beat him to the punch. He's finding the game difficult at the moment, Mananui. As if he has tired as he did late last week when he was a little bit sore. Marston drafting out another okay. kick to Kennedy. The Eagles have suddenly got some options opening up. Or do they through the middle? You've got to love the way Lynch has gone about his work tonight. Good stuff from every angle. It's locked up again. Ports to both teams, the way they've just left nothing in the bank. It's been lively, Lynch. 15 disposals, two goals. Seven and a half to go. Dangerfield to Ruckman as well when he wants to be. Sloan, slashing kick inside the 50. The danger man from the third, Paul Pleasure. Doesn't bounce the way he wanted to, not yet anyway. Glass, a hard man to contend with. Jenkins still might get to Paul Pleasure. It does! Oh, <laughs> through! How did he get it to boot? How, I ask you? Well, Paul Pleasure is back in form. He showed it last week and he's showing it again tonight. That's the little classy things that he's been doing throughout his career. Let's have a look here. Josh Jenkins there. You can see him in the background. Keeps coming at the ball. Paul Pleasure gets the boot to it. Jenkins keeps working. Puts the pressure on. Pushes him out of the way. Gives it to the porpoise who just gets hand the ball in a fraction of a second. And Brenton Sanderson knows how important that goal is now. That gives him a little bit of breathing space. It's out to 13 points. It is 13 points now. Jason Pleasure. Two goals, three for the night. And that was a precious, precious goal. The advantage beyond two straight kicks. And the Eagles have to come hard. Let's look for their response. It has to be immediate. Looking for the boundary. Oh, he's Chris, he's got a piece of jumper kick. there. Matt Nui off the ground. I think they've seen what you, you've seen there, Cameron. Yeah, he is right. He's, uh, he's not feeling too well. I think his body's hurting him. And Bernie Vince, by the way, two boys, has just come back on and sitting on the bench. Got all the way through to Jenkins. This yeah, is he just gave it up there, Jenkins. He just had to keep un under control and release a handball. And they had a man on his own forward. If they had got up there quick enough. They still have an extra to use here through half forward. Now, it's not 50. Kennedy. Yeah, no advantage from no. It's coming back. Cox looking dangerous, pushing yeah. forward. Oh, and they've found Emily Spare. He was on his own for how long? That's an incredible give up from the Crows. Well, they had an opportunity at the other end of the ground. They just dished it up. Jenkins not trying to uh, maintain possession, just trying to basically kill the ball. But Embley has pushed forward. You can see there right just exposed. So Andrew Embley 
Been a premiership player and a Norm Smith medalist. Big kick this one. He knows what he has to do. Just go back and do it. That's what he does. And they're still right in it. You sure are. They're only nine points, uh, seven points down now, West Coast Eagles. So still plenty of time. Still five minutes to go. So you can see Emily getting loose here. There he is. He's pushed forward yep. and right bottom of screen, bottom right. He's just giving him too much space. Everybody else was man on man. And Tom Cam doesn't lie. He's the old saying, Jared. Tom Cam doesn't lie. Never lies, though. It never has, never will. Just what the Eagles needed. Seven points the difference. A hard night for everyone. Greasy conditions. Andrew Embley, the sub, has kicked a goal. And they're within just over a kick now. Seven points as they restart. Comes Thompson's way. Couldn't do a lot with it, so has to have another effort. He's over it. I've loved his work rate, Thompson. He's, uh, oh, he's he has definitely. given everything. He's up to 26 disposals now, Scotty Thompson. 16 of those contested, seven clearances. And he's probably run about 17 or 20 Ks as well. Cox, Kennedy, they all converged on the one man. So the Eagles had a couple of spare. That's flicked out conveniently for Marston. Oh, neither player went for the footy. Lecrae will get his moment, though. Sloan will make it as hard for him as he can. Embley is the wild card at the moment. But Lecrae, it's on his boot. There's that behind that you talked about earlier, Root. Yep, back to six points now. So uh, still five minutes. This would feel like 15 minutes the last five here. but uh, Could be a draw, Root. Could be a draw. Could be anything, Hutto. Hit the boundary. Henderson. Long ball out. Cox couldn't quite. Douglas almost a throw. Flipped it up. Rutten. Oh, great handle. Party tricks. Thompson goes out though. McKenzie collected immediately. And McKernan went again and again. But here's Prittis. Making sure. No. Oh, what a catch! <laughs> In the gully. We'll need a bit of that from this week on. <laughs> Everyone's getting ready for it. At half back, it's Douglas. I think it's too early to slow it down. Got to play safe, but uh, got to keep it going forward. They lead by a goal. Waters comes into impact. It fell for right, and now Yench was able to shape it to half forward. Here's the push from right towards full forward. It wanders into Patrick Dangerfield. Oh, Glass was with him. This is a great move by right. Did really well to get that ball out of their danger zone. One goal to just about do it, Root. Well, just goal, about do it. A point of help. Four minutes to go. Sloan about to re-enter. The Adelaide Crows, the West Coast Eagles. This is seasons on the line stuff. Embley, an element of danger. It comes through. Spinning hard, Smith. Good tackle. No way out of there. Hutchings. Oh, oh, they're off on. here. And gone. Down no one to go to, though. Just had to collect the thoughts. Did well. And bring Bo Waters into the game. Now the forwards from the Crows have got to push down. They've just got to get the numbers back. So Waters oh, kicks kick. poorly. Straight back to Henderson. Needed to do better there, Bo, because there's no point kicking it straight down the throat, even if you have to go sideways or, or even switch back to the other side. And that's a well-directed kick to Van Burlo. Douglas. To half forward again. Two on two. And the height wins out. McKernan took the first mark and Dang. kicked the first goal of the game. Sets it in the direction of guess who? Dangerfield. Again, he's covered by glass. Waters. The kick smothered by Dangerfield. It was brilliant. He's still not out of it. It still might get to him. He gets the handball off. The kick is hurried. It's across the face from poor pleasure. And it's out of bounds. But that won't concern the Crows too much. Yeah. They would love another score. They would love another score. Love another goal, Jared. If you're a midfielder here, you just got to get to the front. They're both Ruckman are going to try and bring it to the front. Certainly the West Coast Eagles Ruckman will try and hit it down towards the boundary line. Just any score would do right now, I think, if you're Brenton Sanderson. Well, it's going to be a score, is it, from the crowd's kick? Yeah. No. <laughs> no, it won't be. Well, that's probably better than a point because it doesn't give them possession. 
Just got to keep lifting your legs as a player out there now. Your legs are exhausted. Your lungs are absolutely being worked over. You just got to keep trying to find something. Make sure your stoppages, uh, your structures, your stoppages are perfect. Two minutes 41 on the clock. Natanui brings it down. Yeah, oh, it's hit the post on the fall. <laughs> That is the worst result. He was lucky he actually didn't get tripped. So no score, so the door remains open for the Eagles. McGinnity out to the wing. Needed a mark, they didn't get it. Here's Dangerfield. Turned sharply onto the left. Is it going to come back? It is. That's a good mark. Ooh. And the kick away from McKenzie is good too. And they've got the outlet player, and it's Bo Waters. This will go goal line. Oh, Schofield's on too. So Waters angles the kick to Schofield. He's done it once. This would be even more impressive. Over the top. Dalziel runs into goal. Scores a level. Stunning movement by the Eagles. Just an absolutely brilliant 30 seconds of play there by the West Coast Eagles. Brilliant running. And Dalziel had a really tough moment, and he did it with great aplomb. He's uh, really reignited his career over this last couple of weeks, Root. And if they get up, he will live that moment for uh, the next 24 hours. Yeah, big, big kick. We've seen plenty of those missed before when you're running into an open goal. But he's had 26 touches now at 88% efficient. So well done, Dalziel. And they've got the advantage here, surely, with Nat and Nui. You just wouldn't muck around. It'd be just a big smash forward. Everyone's manned up all around the ground. Centre bounce yeah. take place. Pretty tough surface there at the moment uh, for the umpire, but this is probably a genuine result. So there is a loose man for either side now. The Eagles, McGinnity off half back. Smith for the Adelaide Crows. We're down to the last minute 50, and it's an Adelaide ball. Thompson, nothing decisive though. Oh, they go hard, and good mark, Yench. Now, what will the tactics be? Get it in there quickly. Straight down the middle. Old-fashioned footy. Jenkins at the back. Glass made the spoil. Tough for right. He goes to ground. Doesn't get a free. Poplesia slides in. Careful was Prittis. Very careful. Poplesia stands up. He's going to be pinged here, oh, I reckon. He's gone to ground and dragged it in. We are looking at the prospect of a draw. But there's still over a minute to go. And it's now over to you, the West Coast Eagles. Rosa. They're the favourites. They've got possession, Roo. Yeah, there's a minute 15 to go. They've got plenty of time. They've just got to keep possession of the ball and work it down. Oh, he's going to talk. <laughs> Embley sends the half forward. Crucial one-on-one -on -one battle with Hill. Kennedy comes scooting through off the left foot. Can they stop it? Oh! oh he's covered in glory, Josh Kennedy. What a kick. What a kick. Well, that is one of the great goals of the season, Ruth. That is an unbelievable individual effort. Here he goes, uh, Porpoise. He goes to ground, drags the ball in, and that's how it's adjudicated. And that is a pivotal free kick. It's a big call by the umpire, but a correct call. And it has uh, cost them big time. But have a look at this for a gutsy effort from a bloke looking for his first roll as an All-Australian. On the left foot, he kicks his fourth. But has he won the game for the West Coast Eagles because there's still time for the Crows to fight back? There's still a passage or two to play out. 53 seconds on the clock. 11 9 75 West Coast. 9 15 69 the Adelaide Crows. Oh, oh Natanui. He's given the free away. Well, they got players out on the wing. Smith. Ignores them, goes long. Kennedy's back in defence now. Got in everyone's road. Did it get through? Rosa a handball. Waters. Panic stations now. You can feel the tension around the ground. West Coast, can they handle it cleanly? They can. Marston, and they're out again. Embley's going to hang on for as long as he possibly can. He's going to keep on going. He's had two. He's had three. He might have another. No, he kicks for his life. Into full four, just heaving it in there. And it's over the line and out of bounds. 14 seconds. Well, Brisbane did it from here, Jared. This is the same amount of time Brisbane took to get it to the other end and win the game. Well, good call, good call. I can't see it happening, but good call. <laughs> what a massive comeback for the West Coast Eagles, though. It's been incredible again. Quick kick, Thompson. Up and down on the spot. Rory Sloan, he's all courage. Prittis likewise for the Eagles. That'll do. The West Coast Eagles. An amazing victory for the Eagles. How did they do it? I don't know. But they've got home. They have got home.
with three incredible goals. And the West Coast Eagles season is very much still alive. And the heavy hitters came out to play when it mattered. Yeah, magnificent effort by West Coast Eagles. They could look back at this last quarter in round 15 and say that was the four points we got to get us into the finals at the end of the year. It's been a tough year for them. They've had their injuries, they've had their troubles, but a win like that away from home could just be the thing to re 